It's the big day, it's finally here! And we're very, very tired. Jacob's just stressed or something. Silent. And unshowered. And unshowered. And stinky. I do not smell. You smell like laundry. See? Clean laundry. Yeah. It's a big day though! It's my wedding day, don't you talk to me like this! Okay, if anyone's gonna be a Groomzilla around here, that's true. It's gonna be me. Hey, I have not been a Groomzilla. So. You haven't been, because that's my job. Ooh, I get that of you. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I'm getting more and more terrified the higher we're going. That's fine, we're here. Look. No, what if it just falls? This is ten. Falls? <laughs> no, Julian, don't. Look. Julian's here. Nikki's here. Gonna go set up. I shouldn't be laying down. I'm sorry. This is just such a big bed. <laughs> but we don't have time for this. Uh, okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go Come do on. things. <sighs> We're gonna do you guys things. have the keys? Yeah. I have them in my pocket. Can I have one? No. That would be responsible. No. Okay. It's okay, Nikki. Take your time. No. It's mine. You're taking my key. Why would you do that to me? I want this one. It looks pretty. I'm do it. Here forever. Bye. <laughs> well, this is it. This is the place. I'm kind of just like mentally trying to decide where to put what and what tables should go where and just making sure that people are arranged the way that they should and all that stuff. But here it is. Cute deep breathing. In the elevator again. In the elevator again. Again. Everything's all done. We got food this time. Julian, thank you for food. Hi, Lulu's here. Hi. <laughs> So now we've got about 45 minutes to scarf food down our throats. Me get changed, Julian and Nikki get changed, and then run down and do this thing. <laughs> Gotta do this thing. Well, it's just about time. My hair is a hot mess. It's crazy. You look cute. You look real cute. Mm. My hair is definitely a mess. But there's nothing to be done about it. But I wanted that one, even though it scares me. Then we can see who's out there. How are we gonna know who's out there? We won't. Look at that cake. Look how cute it turned out. I look how Julian turned out. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Candy, everything. Everything's good. We're good. Everything's good. Yes. Perfect. Big reveal. Yeah, it does. My true love hath my hurt, and I have his. By just exchange, one for the other given. I hold his dear, and mine he cannot miss. There never was a bargain better driven. His heart in me keeps me and him in one. My heart in him, his thoughts and senses guide. He loves my heart, for once it was his own. I cherish his, because in me it bites. His heart his wound received from my sight. My heart was wounded with his wounded heart. For as for me on him, his hurt did light. So still, we thought, in me his hurt did smart. Both equal hurt, and this change saw our bliss. My true love hath my heart, and I have his. You may not be seated. Um, I forgot mine upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, growing up, I was the guy who said he was never going to get married. You can ask my family, you can ask friends who've known me a long time. I've always said I will never get married. And so the fact that I am up here today says quite a bit. Um, I 
truly believe, Jeremy, that you are my soulmate. And I truly believe that you are the person that I am meant to be with from today till the end of everything. And you're the only person I would want to be with till through all that, through through paradise or through hell, you're the only person I can imagine being with for the rest of my life. Um, even though, you know, you are stubborn and you're hard-headed and a pain in my rear sometimes, you are also loving and kind and at the end of the day, you always have my best interests in the forefront of your heart. And I just hope that I can give back to you even an ounce of what you have given to me so effortlessly over the last three years. Um, because what you have given me has been so much more than I ever expected from somebody. Um, and I promise to always be the husband that you deserve because you deserve everything in the world. And I love you. <laughs> Jacob, we met over three years ago today, but it feels like it's only been a few days. I'm constantly learning new things about you on this whirlwind of a journey we've been on. When I saw your dating profile online, I thought you were the most attractive person I had ever seen, and my profile at the time was just my forehead, and I thought I would never have a chance with you since my profile was a little basic. <laughs> I was so happy you agreed to meet me. I felt like I'd won the jackpot, or maybe a penny slot machine. As I came down the escalator from the Mickey and Friends parking lot at Disneyland, knowing I'd meet you at the bottom, my heart was racing. And when I saw you for the first time, I saw everything that could be. I saw our first kiss, us getting married, adopting kids, growing old together, and I knew in that moment that you were my one and only. I knew that no matter what, I would fight for us, through the best, through the worst. I knew I wanted to be with only you. Before everyone here today, I promise to always be faithful to you. I promise to fight for us. I promise to always love you, even when it might be hard. I promise to forgive you when you make mistakes, to support you when you fall and to be there for you no matter what. Ishteru. You, Jeremy, to be my lawfully wedded husband. You, Jeremy, to be my lawfully wedded husband. My constant friend, my faithful partner, and my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family, and friends, I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, and in joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you in your goals, to honor and respect you, to laugh with you and cry with you, and to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Jeremy, repeat after me. I, Jeremy, take you, Jacob, to be my lawfully wedded husband. My constant friend, my faithful... <laughs> Just really good following. <laughs> my faithful partner and my love from this day forward. In the presence of God and our family and friends, I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, and in joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you in your goals, to honor and respect you, to laugh with you and cry with you, and to cherish you for as both as we long as long as we both shall live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
By the authority vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband. You may exchange your rings. Exactly. Yeah. I love it. You know, that's what we planned. That's what we needed. I felt like that was the It was it was important. Okay, <laughs> short and sweet to the point. You almost made me cry, so good job, like yes. almost getting almost. me there. Like you almost. got my eyes. Blurry. I already cried you, once. I was like <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like holding back tears and like <laughs> <laughs> sucking them. Yes, you guys. Be pretty together. They're married now. Well, we have to sign the paper, but we did it. The ceremony's done. The thing with the thing. Now make out. Make out? Make out. Uh oh. Husbands. Yeah. All right. Hey, Mr. Shandy. I'm your husband now. That's true. <laughs> so gross. Mom, Dad, you're gonna make me barf. <laughs> Tina, get over it. Aww. Linda. Aww. Linda. Linda. Aww. Tina's Tina's doing that thing. Stop it. <laughs> well, there's where it all happened. There's everything. We're heading back down right now. There's my grandma. Go. It's your grandma. So we're about to go down now so that we can do our first dance, and then we're gonna eat. Well, actually, we have to make rounds and say hi to everybody. You're getting not meeting before. No, no, no. We have to say hi to people first. It's customary. We will get water and then we'll say hi, thank everyone, and then we'll eat. It'll be fine. It'll be good. Don't worry. Are she supposed to make other meals? I'm pretty, no. sure you're like, no, I'm pretty sure. I'm you're pretty like, sure you're supposed to go right away, and no. it's just going to be salads. We don't want to be sitting there while they're cutting chicken in half. No, you're supposed to wait till they have food, and then you go make the Okay, so we'll sit and we get water, and then we'll go and then eat people. Yeah. The last wedding I went to, the bride and groom like actually like ate some of their food before they even. Oh. Them. Well, I mean, we could do that, we but that's have, so traditional. Literally, have all night. <laughs> These people. But we should do it first since we didn't really say hi to anybody beforehand. <coughs> well, you're not supposed to. Oh, I feel like we should. No. Say something. I don't know. <sighs> okay. <sighs> it's hot. I'm glad that there's air conditioning in here. Look, this is where it's all happening. So, should we wait? We're good. Look at this food. Barely before, and we'll have like more than now. I like that. Look at this food. Check out the sky. Look at all these lovely people. There's beautiful people everywhere. And look at this beautiful person. <laughs> okay. Made our rounds. We said hi to everybody. And now Jacob is just dying. So hungry. <laughs> I only ate like a third of my burger. <laughs> food. Uh, I met Jacob when uh, I was 13 years old. Or 12. No, you were 12, I was 13. Yes. I met Jacob when I was 13 years old. Um, my mom runs a youth theater company that he was a part of. Um, and when I say, I, I love him very much. So when I say that when we first met, I thought he was super weird and we were never going to be friends. It, it's because it was true. <laughs> so living with these two boys for almost a year now, I've come to realize how imperfect they each are. <laughs> Jeremy can get really snippy and is almost as passive aggressive as me and Jacob has quite a short fuse and leaves lights on all the time. But but it's so difficult for me to see them as two imperfect people because when I look at them all I see is that perfect couple. And I think they're wonderful for each other and seeing them on a daily basis and how happy they make each other warms my heart and I'm so happy 
that you two are finally here on your wedding day and you're married and you're going to be together forever. So here's to two imperfect people who are perfect for each other. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's reaction because he doesn't realize what I put next unless he does. Oh, is it Saturday? No. Uh, <laughs> what? Saturday. Yeah. Is it's it really? Real new. What's happening? I'm so confused. It was. It was. <laughs> Teaching us, teaching us things. I don't know if I can teach you. You know things. <laughs> and then now gosh. Noah's gonna have us open up her gift now because she said think, it's important. I think you'll like it. I'm I think? pretty sure. Okay, you go since I've got the camera. Oh, should we close our eyes and you put it in your hand? Do you want to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys okay. close your eyes. Okay, put your hand up. I'm gonna put mine in the dress. <laughs> um, okay. Tell Keep it when, closed. Uh -huh. Be careful with balance. Oh no. Open. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You got your, your own little baby. We have a Shelly May now, a visual <laughs> from Tokyo. Alone. This is sweet. <gasps> My baby's hurt. Did you make it? That's so cute. Oh, it's oh. She came naked. <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> Because they sell uh, the Duffies naked. She came with her bow, uh, but not her little uh, panties. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put this in here back for safekeeping. There's Just so like cards it's safe. In here, oh, like, yes. That, We're that probably gonna open everything fun. tonight. Tonight when we get back from dinner, we'll awesome. open up everything. I'm really glad you uh, my ducky will be happy. Now. <laughs> it's got a girlfriend. It's got a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have, we have uh, Today has been so good. Are you tearing up? No. It looked like you were. No. No. <laughs> no. We're at Disneyland and we're getting um, some hats before we go to cafe for our anniversary. Mm. That's so cool. I've never seen this happen before. Got my name on it. Jacob, show yours. Show the back. Ooh. I love. What do they got tonight?
It's a little dark, but look. I got ravioli with chicken and spinach, bacon, mushrooms, chicken got a steak. Big man of steak. You can't even see it, it's so dark. Oh no. Is it real good? I regret nothing. Best steak ever, right? Birthday America. And you know what's funny is that the Declaration of Independence was actually signed on the 3rd, but it wasn't made official until the 4th. That's what I remember learning when I went to DC years ago. So technically, it's our anniversary, the day of our wedding, and America's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, America. So we just got back to our hotel room. And look what was waiting for us here. We were wondering why our do not disturb sign was moved. And then here we come in and then, this what is, is this? Nice. Is that fancy alcohol? I think it's fancy champagne. Champagne? Oh, well, I don't drink champagne, so you can have it. You can enjoy mine. But look, there's even something with our name on it. What the Jamie heck? Jacob. What? Jamie and Jacob, thank you so much for allowing us to share your special day. Please accept our best wishes for a wonderful future and much happiness. Oh, we got a really, really nice letter. And we got Champagne. Oh. Champagne. And, and chocolate strawberries. Chocolate strawberries. strawberries. What the heck? Okay, I'm going to put this in the <gasps> mini fridge. Okay. Chill. What? This is the best day ever. Wow. Oh. So this is how it feels to focus in the upper class. Well, remember that one time we stayed in the Disney Hotel and they left us chocolates to our anniversary? Like, this is like. Bar? Oh, really? <laughs> I'm gonna put these in there too. Ooh, we don't wanna eat them now? Um, after, after the shower. I would love to shower. We both need to shower. I feel gross. I'm still not full though. I don't feel bloated and I've eaten so much today. I'm so cold. And I don't know why. I think it's because I, my adrenaline is just going. Can you put my soda in there too so it's nice and cool? Ooh, what was that? Ice. Ice? We just opened everything and I'm just jizzing right now over the stuff we got. We got a bunch of towels and things which we've needed for a long time. And Poncho's ruined a lot of stuff that we've got so he needed it. Then we had this cool dressing thing. You make dressing and you put it in here. And then my friend got me funnel cake mix. It was an inside joke, long story. Phase 10, we got a bunch of cards. Look, we finally got... <laughs> I just think it's hilarious that someone actually got it because we originally got it like on the registry as a joke. So I was just like, Jacob, we need to put something on here. Scan. This is what we're getting. We got our Shelly Maze from Noah. Someone got me Super Smash Brothers Brawl. It was Jacob's ex-girlfriend. Uh, Jacob's ex-girlfriend. Like, okay, story, context. I had a roommate that I lived with who was a klepto. He stole things from me when he moved out and he stole Super Smash Brothers Brawl and I've been wanting it ever since he left. And we got Super Smash Brothers Brawl and I'm gonna cry, I'm so happy. We got our gay knives and we got a bunch of kitchenware stuff which we've needed. One of our friends just started selling Scentsy stuff. So she got us some Scentsy things and a Scentsy Zen Rock. We got a rice cooker so now we don't have to cook minute rice anymore, which is beautiful. We got a spice rack. <laughs> And then we have a fancy 16-piece dinnerware set. The perks. Of getting married. We get things that we've needed. And then we got some Target gift cards too. And Jacob and I are debating between being responsible and using it for things we actually need, or just being like, it's our freaking anniversary honeymoon we marriage. We got like $200 in gift cards. We can use some of it. Use Pokemon some of it. Cards. We might buy some Pokemon cards for ourselves. Some Pokemon cards? Yeah, like one pack times ten. Yeah. <laughs> There's also cards for Noah that we gotta read. Oh yeah, we gotta read Noah's cards. But, oh. 
I'm just so happy. I got my spice rack. What kind of spice rack are you? Uh, boobies. And now that everything is all cleaned up, I'm gonna spend the next like 30 minutes on Facebook because I have like 54 messages from today that I did not keep up on because my battery was dying all day. And then I've got messages on Tumblr and Twitter and everywhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys now. I'm a shandy now, which is crazy. It's exciting, but crazy. So I'm gonna say goodnight. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.